All right, <laughs> here we are back again, High Country Carnage on the trapping line. And uh, after taking that great big male, I got his hide all skinned out, and I'm not actually going to sell any of them uh, unless they're smaller. I mean, I got one. I got several coyote hides, and um, we're back after uh, a lot more. But the bad thing is, I am going on a whitetail, North Idaho whitetail bow hunt for about 10 12 days, so there's no sense leaving the traps out. Um, so I got to pull all the traps today, uh, sad, but I'm hoping to have at least one more in the traps. I, I reset every trap last, uh, well, two two days ago and uh, did some new scent uh, digs, post holes uh, or dirt hole digs with foothold traps. Uh, like I said, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not old timer to the, know all the slang words, but uh, I got to pull the traps. Hopefully we got a few coyotes in the traps. And uh, like I said, going up to hunt some whitetails, and I'm going to take traps up to try to trap some wolves. I've had them howling pretty hard in there up north Idaho. There's a lot more up there than down here in the desert, but uh, stay with me. Uh, let's do some checking. Well, I checked the first set, and uh, it was the one I thought would be money. It was on a crossing. There's probably six piles of poo on it three days ago two days ago and it hadn't been hit I'm just doing a loop around so I left it there came to my second and uh, I don't know what happened here here's one of my sets okay uh, it was muddy and wet the other day when I set these but there's my you see the stink pipe in there. Turn this. And then I got my, my, uh, you know, natural coyote poo. Some sheep's wool with scent on it. But down there in the bottom is a scent uh, leather hide stuff that was in the stink pipe right there right there and it's I shoved it down in there and it's laying out here the trap is right right here and this was down in there this was down in the hole like that and now it's up here I guess I'm you know I haven't ever put out the stink set stuff but maybe a bird a magpie or whatever came in and checked it but the trap didn't go off but if you come over here right there is a coyote track <laughs> in from the mud probably a night or two ago so I don't know what to say. I didn't catch any non-species that I didn't want to catch, so that's good. But I don't know what happened. The story isn't making sense, but other than a bird coming and pecking the hides out of there and Well, I'm going to pull it. Like I said, I got to go to North Idaho hunting whitetails. Got to keep moving down the line. We'll check trap number three here in a minute. Here we go, checking trap number four. Doesn't look like anything. Nope. See, it's another dirt hole type of set with a stink tube, dream pipe, whatever, pipe dream. Threw a little extra cow bone to the side just for attractant. 
Same thing, got the poop. Hoping that another coyote was gonna actually come in and mark his territory on whatever the smell is, so. Yeah, let's pull this one too. Not how you want to end pulling your traps empty, but uh, that's the way it goes. These dogs are probably, you know, roaming around two day, like a wolf, I guess, where they're traveling a week circle, four to five day circles, hunting and hunting, and you know, the weather's gonna start getting pretty nasty, and uh, just figuring a wolf is a wolf and a dog is a descendant or a coyote is a descendant of the wolf so they probably do the same thing dogs are dogs they're gonna roam around until they find something to eat and then uh, keep moving they got probably like I said there's probably I'll bet you at, at least 20 coyotes in this country right here uh, we hunt them calling them and hunting them but yeah, that there they should be uh, there should be a lot more in these traps. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> it's like it's like Christmas. Your name's on the biggest package under the tree, and then when you go to open it, you get a a baseball, <laughs> or you don't get nothing. Actually, you just uh, you're a bad kid all year, and that's how it is. I, I don't think I've been pretty good all year, but I'm a uh, little uh. I'm a little discouraged. I mean, I'm not discouraged, but it, it sure is nice to know that you have a chance of catching something at any point in time, any day. But I'm going to keep going. we still got quite a few left to check. Here we go. All right, we're checking, checking the other one. Another one. And I don't think nothing's on it. I just set this two days ago. It's kind of depressing. I got to pull these damn things. I'm not ready to leave. I'm not done here. Let's just say that. But uh, I'm going to go try to get some wolves. That's kind of crazy. It's got to be birds. It has to literally be birds coming in. They're pulling the stink the scent and pulling the scent out of the pipe and pulling the fur or the little sheepskin the sheep wool <laughs> just pulling it right out of the ground uh, yeah, there's no coyote tracks no sign all right let me tear this one out all right the clouds are coming in you can see that the lighting is getting duller but uh it is getting into winter. It is December. <laughs> Don't even start with climate fucking change. That's a stupid term. I've lived my life long enough to know that about every four years the cycle comes back around. It's not, there is no such thing as climate change other than unless it's for the government's greed and money in their pockets. That's it. Everything else pretty much stays the same. Anyways, get off that bullshit, but um, I'm here at my other set, and uh, I did a, right in here, I did a dirt uh, anchor, right, right in here somewhere. Yep, <laughs> there it is. Well, I, I just did a loop over lash also with this one. Uh, if I can't get this sucker out, I'm just going to, which is what I just showed you on the last trap. It's going to be, I have this. You know, I have that on there for a reason. It's a double lock, cable lock, with uh, nuts on bolts. 
Again, I don't know if you can see that or not. Because I, I didn't have another connector. So that goes right into the dirt hole with the dog poop. And I call them dogs because they are dogs. Coyotes. I know people get pissed. Don't call them a dog. Shut up. <laughs> Anyways, the trap is right in here. And like I said, it was pretty muddy when I set two days ago. So I got some clumpy shit on there. It is what it is, but obviously no dog, no coyote. Now, I'm gonna try to get this some bitch out of the ground. See if it'll work. There she goes. That's a pretty good set off for a little rock. You know, if a coyote would have got on that, he'd be mine, baby. All right, let's get this trap. I'll show you how to buried pretty good. Like I said, always get your wax paper. Do not forget it in the field. So, I'll probably be able to get this off. Maybe. See what I got here. Nope, not yet, but I'm gonna see. You know, these are cheap enough. I'll probably, I'll probably just, let me see if I can get it out first. Uh, it was mud, it's coming. Look at that mud. I guess these aren't meant to be set in mud. Uh, pulled that right out pretty actually easy a little too easy if that would have been as big a coyote As the one I got three four days ago He more than likely would have gotten out of that So I don't even know what these are called. These are handmade uh, from a guy in a local area um, I, I, I actually don't know if I did it wrong or if it just didn't work because of this clay mud. You can see it, it, it's, it's actual like modeling clay mud, a he mud. So I can't say it works or if it doesn't. It's more like a, a bottle opener type of, it's supposed to get pounded straight down in like this. And then when you pull it up, it's supposed to grab the earth, and so and it would hang on like that. But I'm going to blame it on the mud, because it was sloppy. It was sloppy, sloppy. And uh, I can't say yay or nay until I bury it into some dry dirt on my next uh, tries out, my next trap line out. But uh, it is what it is. It's trapping. Everyone will tell you. If you, uh, if you get tired of showing up to your traps with nothing in it, you probably shouldn't be doing this. I, I've got nothing better to do right now, so I am, uh, I'm always excited. It's like Christmas morning coming out here. Well, that's the one. We did a full loop out here. I had, uh, six traps or five five traps on this side and I got five traps on the other side about a mile and a half away I'm trying to catch their loop I'm trying to figure out their figure eight and this is only my own my very own philosophy but uh, if anyone else has any tips I'm telling you I'm I'm as green as the grass I'm standing on you know I get uh, I'm learning and I, and I said it at the beginning. I'm going to learn. I'm here to learn, but I'm also helping educate Even though I don't know I know that I know the, the the baseline of trapping and I, I know that for a fact I used to do it when I was a little kid before you even needed a, a trapper's license a hunting license And I had a little piece of crap trap and all we did was catch skunks So it means we were doing something right, but we weren't after the bigger prey so, if you, if any of you YouTubers, I mean, be, be courteous about it, because I'm admitting it. I don't know everything. I'm going to tell you that right now. But if you see something I'm doing wrong, 
please give me a, a shout out. Let me know. Let us know what we can do to, to get better, you know. Get better faster. <laughs> Actually, this set, what I set on, is a coyote trail from out of the north, uh, be the northwest to the southeast. And, the, and you can see, I'm trying, I'm trying to learn it. Uh, you know, these dogs, these coyotes will run these trails over and over and over. It takes them from their bedroom or their den out to feed. And they leave the piles of poop, like I was saying, to mark it. If it's dark, pitch black dark, they can pinpoint that, that marker pile of poo. And they know to turn left or right. So... Like I said, I'm trying to get the wheels spinning in my head that makes sense. But anyways, <laughs> uh, we still got five more to go. I'm crossing. I can't. These are so stiff. From <laughs> I'm hoping I can at least get one to show you guys for the day. Anyways, we're keeping on, keeping on. Hang tight. Well, we're getting down to the last five to check. And this is, this is actually the newest set. You can see the sheep wool back there, the poopy right there, and there's the trap right right there like I said it was muddy when I set these well that went off pretty easy so that would have got a dog that would have got him well this is actually one of my son's traps big wolf trap uh, it's overkill but <laughs> it sure does catch the animals well okay we got four more to go well, I just pulled the last two traps right there. <laughs> Nothing. It is what it is. Um, like I said, I'm just learning, still learning. Um, here's that other, I was going to try to show you this earlier. Here's the, the trailer lock, like a carabiner. Can you see that? Put it in the white. You know what you put on your trailer, your hitch to hold your trailer chains. What I like to do with this, see and I got a smaller ring. You can see the smaller ring right here, cable. Then you open this up and what I do is it go around the tree and then I lock it like this. Turn that back to where it's locked, and here's your tree. This is what happens. And then you end up with that. And it it's caught several fox badger. It had a badger at one time that pretty much dug the tree out of the ground that I had it lashed to like this. And uh, it holds solid. And then to undo it, you just same thing easy peasy that was on uh, probably four traps and then another four with the big loop system but anyways yeah, it was a pretty depressing day I only let the let the traps sit for two days uh, my woman's birthday is tomorrow, so I kind of had to do it. <laughs> no, I had to do it. But, uh, that's trapping. That's trapping. Have to go home, get stuff done. Not only spend, you know, three, four days for her for the weekend, doing what she wants to do before I take off and spend ten I think it's going to be 10 or 11 days up up North Idaho on my uh, late archery whitetail hunt. Uh, but I will definitely be taking some traps 
because there's a lot more wolves there so uh, see what we can do there but I hope you enjoyed this episode well hopefully I can uh, get an episode for you out, up out, out of uh, North Idaho even if it's Fox or maybe some Pine Martins all that we're gonna try to do our best me and my son will both be trapping with our own trap lines so that ought to be fun a little family uh, hunting slash trapping adventure but stay tuned because uh, the trapping season's still going clear into next you know 2024 so it's only December like 6th today so we got the time we're gonna do it and we're gonna share every bit of it and I hope we can uh, put some more furs in the traps stay with us high country carnage hit that subscribe button hit the like hit the share high country carnage traps are empty my stomach's empty I need to go eat some food and uh, drive my happy ass back home stay with us